Good day everybody. It is Saturday afternoon and uh, tomorrow we're getting the chickens. So pretty excited about that. So we had to rush and finish up the chicken run as quick as possible so we can at least have them in there. It's not 100% the way it's going to be by fall, but it's enough to house them. So, so that's what we've got done. I wanted this all chicken wire and plastic, but for now, that's gonna work so the dogs don't get in there. Half of it's tin roof, half it's gonna be plastic so that they get sunlight, and that's the way it's gonna stay. We got the door put on. This is gonna be where the duck pond is. And then here's the inside. You got a feeder attached there. I think I'm gonna take this one off because with only 10 chickens, this should be enough. You got the ramp all on. Got the mesh on the screen. And I've got the roosts, roosts in there, nesting box. And then the door. So this here is obviously not complete yet. Running out of time, but I got it so chickens can't escape. And uh, she's secure in here. So we're excited to get chickens tomorrow. So I'll definitely do some video tomorrow when we uh, when the chickens arrive and uh, show you guys so, the excitement. They're on the process of going there right now. And I got a few small little things to button up on the coop. Um, because that has to be completely done by the time we get here in probably about an hour and a half to two hours. So I'll just give you a little walk around. I know you guys have seen the run, but I'll show you guys the actual coop that I've done. It's nothing special. Um, I've, again, I've had to quickly do it so that we can get them home. The fine detail stuff I'm going to do a little bit later because when they're out in the run, I can work on the coop and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> but it's getting there. It's getting, uh, it's getting done. But I'll show you. So far, that's what we've got. So just remember, I'm working with an old barn. It's, uh, it's not 100% straight. It's not level. But... And then I'm also working with scrap wood that we have salvaged um, so it can help with cost. But anyways, got the door that comes down so that I can just clean right out and go right into uh, the wheelbarrow. I, I can move the wheelbarrow or our little trailer right up to the door, right in. I'm also going to make a little door on this section so I can clean out underneath the roosts easier. I also have a vent here. For airflow and this is the nesting boxes now these lights won't stay here they will be getting moved so I got a little latch on here and I can collect eggs from this side what I got to do in here is I got to put a little spacer up here on this side which only takes a couple seconds to do there's the window that I'm I have to make a frame to put up there which is not hard to do but there's wire up there nothing's gonna get in that will be the chicken or is the chicken door and then the roost, remember it's the old barn. It's all I had to work with. So I got it all enclosed, um, except for the bottom section, which goes out to the run. I was thinking about doing something uh, special here, but I'm not gonna be able to do it. I'm gonna do something different on this side, um, but that would be something in a different video. Um, just a lot of ideas going on, but I just want to get it built so we can get them home. Uh, once they're here, then I can start working on the smaller stuff, do trim work. Um, I can paint it and stuff like that. I am going to also, underneath the roost, I'm actually going to make a tray that pulls out. Um, and I'm going to put sand in there. So when they're sleeping, because chickens poop mostly at night. So I'm gonna make a little tray that will slide out and we can use like a cat litter scoop and, and clean out the poop that way. It'll help with cleanup. It won't get everything, but it'll get a, a majority of it, I believe. So that will happen. It's just, again, just want to get it done so that they can come home. So as you can tell, I'm in the chicken run and uh, our girls are home. So excited. They're all in there. They're dark. They're hard to see. But they're checking everything out. They're so much fun. We have chickens again. 
Yahoo! I think this is so much fun. After the truck ride, they're a little scared, so they're just going to kind of hide out and chill. But I hope it won't take long. We got some sections here. We put down some green and they got their feed and water. They know where all that is. So excited. So these ones here are uh, brown leghorns. Um, I thought they would have been a little bit different looking. I like the looks of these ones though. These ones are really cool looking. Um, so they're right at the age now where they're going to start laying anytime. So um, I'm going to probably give them a couple weeks before they actually start laying. I bet they won't be laying for any day, any day soon anyway, because they're just still stressed, new house, new environment, stuff like that. And, uh, we'll just have to see what it's going to be like tonight. Um, if we have to put them up in their coop or not, but we'll have to teach them. So, uh, we'll just see how the day goes and, uh, see what happens. <laughs> 